Good morning everyone and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley. Ding. Right, I'm going to drop those off for now. I've got three coffees on me, which is going to be grand. We're going to be able to get quite a lot done. Let's check the uh, television for today. Living off the land. Winter's coming soon. Indeed it is. And that means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. Ca there is caveat there. It doesn't completely come to a halt. No crops grow in winter unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse or you have winter forage crops. But there's still plenty to do, and that is very true, regardless of whether you have winter forage crops or not. There's an awful lot of things that you can do in winter. In fact, winter is a great time to get the things done that don't involve crops, because they kind of take a lot of your time up each day. Okay then, Welwick. Have the spirits forgiven me yet? Spirits... Oh, that's a good sign. They are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Oh, fantastic. They have come out of their mood. I am very pleased with this. There's going to be uh, gusts and winds tomorrow. I think they've come out of their mood because it's winter right around the corner. And the spirits are like, yay, winter, snow, we like winter. I can understand that. I, I can get on board with this. Uh, right, what I would very much like to do is get this going early on. Pop, there we go. Right, okay, so we've got a number of things that we would... Re oh, actually, I'll keep that with me. Um, there are a number of things that we really need to do. I also need to move the bat wings into a single chest. Thank you very much for the comment that pointed out that I had bat wings in two separate chests. That was a bit a bit dumb of me. Very, very dumb indeed. Um, Alright, is there anything else I want to do? Now let's go and check on our mail, shall we? Figured I'd give you this recipe I had lying around. Try not to burn it. George, fry deal. I'll, I'll do my best, George. Dear Avak, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to some good use. Take care, Jody. Thank you very much. Basic retaining soil. Uh, that can go over here because I've got some already. Okay. Ooh, we've got our pumpkins and also some corn. Oh, this is very, very nice. As usual, I'll uh, do the harvesting on camera. Let me check how much hay we got in there. Hmm, 480. All right. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, 480 pieces of hay. Nothing yet with the bat. That is a bit of a shame. But let's get to the harvesting then. Right. Now... Normally, I would actually say that if you've got, um, oops, thank you very much. If you've got uh, pumpkins or cauliflower or melons, those are the crops that have this ability. Then you could, if you've got a, a crop kind of cluster of three by three, don't worry, Colin, you get another stay of execution for today. Then you can allow those things to, um, those crops to uh, just sit there. There's a chance, and the larger the group, like if you've got a 3x3, three three, then there's one chance every day that this will happen. But if you've got like a 4x4, four four, then there's four chances that one 3x3 three three clump in that 4x4 four four area will react in this way. But um, effectively, the crops can merge into a super crop. Now, they can either sprout like that. Um, you won't know until they are ready for harvest, but they can, as they're growing... On the day that they're ready for harvest, they might just show up as a super crop. That is like a massive pumpkin or a massive melon, so on and so forth. Or they will just sit there as regular crops. But if they are regular crops, and that doesn't mean they can't be a super crop. You can just leave them for a few days. And every day, you'll have X many chances that a clump of 3x3 three three crops will turn into a... Uh, a, a large crop of that type. Now, the really nice thing about the large crops is each large crop can be chopped for... I, I think you need to use an axe on them. I could be wrong about that, though. But each large crop can be turned into uh, 18 of its respective uh, crop type, which is pretty bloody awesome, if you ask me. Uh, we will be going and getting a new silo today, so let's grab all of this up. I really do need more wood. So badly do I need more wood, my lord. Hmm. Now. Now, now, now. I know that Abigail likes pumpkins. Quite a lot, actually. So we're going to be uh, keeping those pumpkins. Uh, the regular crops. Hmm. See? I'm not sure if there's anyone who happens to like like high quality corn, but uh, maybe. Uh, what I should be doing though is starting to ferry in some of my low quality crops into the house because I would like to use them 
for cooking. Now the thing is, I need to check what kind of crops I've got can be turned into actual foodstuffs. Because not everything can, and there's no point in just having a, a fridge full of random gubbins if you can't use any of it. So, with that said and done, let's have a quick look. So we've got eggs, we already know. Milk, we know. Dandelion, leeks, and vinegar. I've actually got a dandelion out there. Uh, cauliflower and cheese. Okay, so we drop in the cauliflowers. Um, and none of those. Basically, I just need to look for something that is... There is. Uh, I was like literally pointing at the screen just then because I can't move my mouse. Because if I move my mouse, it turns it off. But anything that isn't red, any of the ingredients that aren't red, means that I'm currently carrying them or they're already in the fridge. So that's nice and easy for me to go through. And very quickly, any. F Ooh, I've, have I got any normal? F oh, I do actually. Yes, I got the crayfish. I suppose. Um, that's fine. Corn. Let's drop those off. I'm not going to be dropping off the. Um, silver, because I do not believe that we actually gain anything from that. I don't believe you gain any benefit from using silver ingredients, unfortunately. Could be wrong about that. Uh, blueberries, there you go in there. Let's drop those off. And is there anything else? Parsnips, drop those off. Uh, so just take me a little bit of an eggplant as well. And we've already got the radishes in there. Eggplant. And that is indeed it. Okay, everything else goes back out with me. Now, I later on, I'll I'll probably gain the means to make some, some other things out of the, these ingredients. In fact, I'm fairly certain I will, especially potatoes. I know that you do. But for now, we don't have that. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these silver ones off. Don't need to carry them around with me. So they can all go in there, which is all well and good. Now, let's go and uh, check down here. We have got some bait, which is fantastic. We've also got some grapes. Uh, these are good times. Good times indeed to be an avoc. The farm is doing wonderfully. We've got an awful lot of money's worth of crops. Our trellis crops are doing fine as well. And generally, life is grand. Now, the reason why I really desperately want some wood is so that I can make some more chests. I would very much like to be able to make a uh, chest, at least one chest, in either the chicken coop or the barn so that I can gather up all the hay. Now, you may be wondering why I haven't let uh, the girls out yet, and that is largely because I want them to eat some of the hay that's in their feed troughs. Once they've done that, then I can start taking hay out of the silos because we've got an awful lot of hay just around the um, around the the farm at the moment. Right, that's enough for one chest, which is technically all we need. But I'm going to go and check if the if the cows have eaten all of their hay. Let's go and have a quick gander in here, shall we? No, you're good. You've already got a chest in here, actually, and that's where you've got your milk pail. Um, I'll go and put this chest at the top. Also, I think I would like to move this around a little bit. Yes, yes I would. Let me just adjust this slightly. There we go. I would like this to come all the way up to the end. And then we'll put in the, the regular stuff down there. Also, uh, let's just get this all the way down there. And that should make our little area for us. Perfect. Which now means I can put some torches down there, which is going to be especially nice. Okay, so the farm is coming along well, I think. Very, very well indeed. Now, it's a Thursday. We don't really have anything to do, so uh, we don't really need to worry. Why did I leave the cows? The cows can come out. I'll I'll be having the chickens eat the uh, hay from there. But the cows, they're, they're fine. Come on out, girls. Actually, before you do... There we go. Hello, 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 hello. I hope you enjoy your time on this farm. There we go. Now, come on out. Feed. Be merry. I should go and say hello to uh, the chickens as well. Get their eggs into the mayo machines. Oh, I've been very, uh, very... Just all over the place today with, with my usual... Um, state of doing things. I'm, I'm usually a little bit better organized. Right, now we've got these gigantic eggs that I would kind of like to uh, 
make mayo out of, honestly. We can get some really high-grade high, high, high mayo there. Right, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and water all the crops, and I'll bring you back when we're done with that, and we'll see what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. So hopefully see you soon. Okay, there we go. All the watering has now been done. Let me just fill up the watering can there, and we can leave that behind for today. Uh, we can also leave behind our scythe, because we're not going to be using it just yet. Um, what I do need to do is take with me a number of items. Uh, I need to put the uh, bait in my fishing rod as well. Uh, leave off that, that, and this, I would say. Well, maybe not, actually. Hmm. Got an awful lot of money. We could perhaps look at buying the materials needed for another house. Oh, I don't know. That's going to be really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, more than likely is. Still, I'm kind of tempted to give it a shot. Um, sure, okay. Let's let's go and give that a shot, shall we? We're going to head on out. Ah, all of the fairy rose honey. I'll pick that up later. We're going to head over to Robin's straight away. And the food... Oh, I should be drinking my coffee for this, since it'll let me get there a little bit faster. And we are on the clock right now. There we go. In fact, I should have drunk that ages ago, unfortunately. Uh, I still have my chest that I need to put somewhere. Oh, did I? Or did I put... What? Where did that chest go? <laughs> I have no idea. And yes, I'm going to stop for these. Copper. That gives us enough for a single bar. Hooray! Right. I would like to construct a farm building, please. Not really construct. I would like to move a building, please. Thank you so, so much. I'd like this building to be moved down here. Let's place this in its new home right there, I think. Ah, oh, perfect. Look at that. Now, eventually, this is going to be the pig um, the, the pig area. I'm thinking I'll probably have another barn out here, honestly. Um, one for cows, one for sheep, one for goats. I, I don't know. Something along those lines. But that is perfect. Thank you very, very much indeed. Right, next up, let's have a look. We need 100 stone to build a third silo. That should not be very difficult for me to get. Let's uh, go ahead and shop, and we will just buy enough for that. There we go. And we'll go ahead and construct. Oh. I mean, I could just buy enough to get that. Or I could upgrade. Upgrade one. It's ten thousand to upgrade the chicken coop, but I mean, worth it, worth it in every way. Uh, yeah, I think we, sh I think we should, I think we should. Let let's try and get this then. Let me uh, go ahead and shop. I need an extra fifty stone, and then we need an awful lot of wood. Just to keep giving me wood for a while. Oh, uh, all of my money, all of my money going. We will have enough to do this. I am actually quite surprised, but uh, very, very happy. Build it, please. Yes. Go ahead. Upgrade this, please. There we go. We are going to have an upgraded chicken coop, which means we're going to be able to get ducks going into winter. Okay, I'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you so, so much, Robin. This is such good news. Not quite what I came up here for, but uh, awesome all the same. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't in the market for a building upgrade. Thank you, Robin. It's really, really kind of you. Uh, I wouldn't mind buying some... A world map? That seems remarkably good. I've also got a calendar. A furniture catalogue for 200,000. <laughs> Very expensive. Um... Not that I don't believe that it, it's completely worthwhile, but Damn, Robin, that is expensive. Uh, I would actually like some more windows. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. And I'll take that house plant too. Um, tempted, actually. Uh, actually, I'd like the rug. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really happy with that. We're going to be able to do some wonderful stuff back at house. We're going to be able to decorate a little bit. In a little while. No, that was a silly place to have done that. Now all of my precious, precious wood has gone elsewhere. Uh, this eye. Oh, well. Right. Oh. Hi, Sebastian. Wasn't expecting to see you up here. 
My room might be a little less depressing if I had a window. Well, you know, that's kind of what happens when you live in the basement. Do you want some sashimi? I really love this. How did you know? Uh, just a guess. I'm fairly certain that I came upon that really late in my last playthrough. And uh, I was like, wow, really all this time? Uh, but yes, yes, apparently Sebastian does like uh, sashimi. Right, let's take a quick dip in the baths. And following that, we are... Should we go down the mine? I mean, it's pretty lucky day today. Me as well. I could drop off a lot of items that I've got with me. We could just jump into the mine for a couple of hours. Then head home to a little bit of decoration. Um, the chickens will probably have finished their work by that point. So I can jump in there and grab a little bit of everything. Um, a little bit of the uh, hay out of their feed trough. Because... If they've eaten some today, then that'll help me now I can pick some up, which will be rather good. <sighs> and if you're wondering why my words got all muddled up then, I was kind of half watching Tally out of the corner of my eye. She just woke up, yawned, tried to kind of like lean on the cage and decided she needed to stretch halfway through it. So she just kind of flopped to the side and then she was just kind of roly polying around just as if she just liked being alive at that particular moment. It's like everything felt good and I, it just completely distracted me. Grinning ear to ear. Ooh, fish. Mm, you know what? Sure. Okay, that was a great cast, but not what I wanted at that moment. Let's see what we get. Uh, it's not carp, I wouldn't say, given that it's a little bit too energetic right now. Bullhead? No, largemouth bass. Wow, okay. Oh, that was a terrible cast. Uh, we could end up just... Uh, ch oh, scallywags. How's the farming business going? It's corn season, isn't it? Yes, it is. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful, working outdoors with plants all day. Uh, not so much on my farm. <laughs> Uh, you don't go to my farm if you want peace. That is not the farm for you. Wow, I've got so much random junk. I'm not going to be able to carry much back with me, unfortunately. Uh, I had expected to do very different things today. Very different things, indeed. Oh, well. Uh, let's jump down into the mine. I, at the end of the day, if I end up coming back up with a load of stuff that I didn't need, then I can just store it here for a time. Hello. No. Please, no. I like the, uh, the range of that swing. Wow, that was a good return. Okay, sure, we'll go straight down. I think we'll, uh, we can't really assume that, oh, wow. We can't really assume that I'm going to get very much from this run because I don't have much time. So if I see an opportunity to leave, I will take it. But, obviously, all of these... I mean, it's just giving me gems right now. I will, once I've collected all the gems, which may not be forever. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to turn down gold. I'm not going to turn down gems. We're going to gather this. Then we're going to go back for that stairs down. But we might be able to make it down to floor 90 in this, um, in this run. It's possible. Now, the first time I played, I thought the lowest level would be level 100. It is not. That surprised me when we got to uh, level 100. I was I was very uh, kind of disheartened. I was like, oh, is this perhaps like uh, 150, 200, something like that? It wasn't either of those, thankfully. Right, what have we got over here in this barrel? We have got... Wow, this is a really good run. A really, really good run. The spirits are very pleased with us, it seems. Thank you very much, spirits. Thank you very, very much. Though it's getting on a little bit. Uh, we do need to start looking for a way down now. There we go. Got some more quartz as well. Quite a lot of quartz, in fact. And a ruby. Two rubies. Ye gad. The spirits are very much on our side today. This is extraordinarily good. I'm doubting that we're going to get down to the next level, honestly, just because it's 10 p.m. already. I really kind of want to be gone from here by 11 at least. We'll see. Don't really want to fight you right now, honestly. 
looking for a way down more than anything. Um, there's a monster over there I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, okay, looks like I am going to have to fight you, which is a shame because you're incredibly tough to kill. Oh, okay, I take it back. I was getting some amazing crits there. Oh, of course, yes, I've uh, upgraded my chance of getting critical hits at this point. My goodness. Things we're getting back from the mob drops are amazing as well, not just the uh, rocks available. Oops, that was not what I meant to press. Damn it. There we go. Really? No way down yet? This is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to just leave at this point. That is a shame. That is a shame. It'll be one of these rocks as I'm trying to leave that'll be the stairs down. Oh, well. We did a good little run, I think. Leave the mine. Now, the nice thing is, with the minecart, we can make very rapid progress back to the house. Come on, then, you. All of these things need to come with me. What am I going to leave behind? I'll leave that behind. I'll also leave behind pine cones. <laughs> I've got so much stuff that I shouldn't have brought with me. Oh, my lord. Um, you know what? I could leave behind the bat wings as well. And I'll take these. And I'll leave behind... I guess I'll leave behind the quartz. And I'll take that. And one last thing I need to leave behind. There we go. That was terribly poor, poorly uh, prepared. I did not prepare for that trip at all. But we came out with it with some amazing returns. Absolutely glorious returns. All right. Let's get things right. I, oh, my goodness. I have not got enough room in here. Not even slightly. Um, let's grab the gold out first. Uh, let's see. What else can I... I'll drop that in there. Drop off all of the wood and the bars that I don't need. Because I've got a lot. Wow. Uh, we'll drop off this as well. Uh, there's the chest. That's what I need to bring with me. Um, hmm. Drop off the amethyst. All right. First and foremost, let's get ourselves the smelting going. It's getting late. I know, I know. Don't worry. Right. Okay, that's going to be pretty much all night. We're not going to be able to get the uh, copper going for now. Let's drop off the sap as well, though. Next up, we will grab the eggs, or rather the mayo. And let's go in. I uh, still haven't eaten yet. It's fine. You can, you can just snooze. I'll get all of that done. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how this is going to go down. Aha! Take that, you scoundrel. I promise you, if you make me abs accidentally pull up Colin, I will... Well, I mean, it's not that I would do anything worse than I was going to do to you anyway, I, I suppose. But still, I would be very, very upset. There we go. It's not Colin's time yet. There we are. Let's grab all of this. We're going to make a fairly good profit today. Uh, I do not have enough time, I do not think, to get a final sprinkler down. We'll, ha we'll have a look. Right, all of these can go. Uh, that goes well. All of that can go. Uh, that's going to stay because I can give that to Vincent. Let's have a quick gander. Have I got enough time? One, two, three. I think that's what we need for a quality sprinkler. Indeed it is. Let's get this place down right about there. Not that we really needed one there. But, you know, we're, we're making progress. That's the main thing. Oh, my lord, really. Not a second piece. Not even a second. That can come with. Uh, yep. We will place this in there. I got enough time. I do not, so I'm not going to risk it. I will just grab that, though. Okay, time for sleeps. I didn't even put the chest in the chicken coop yet, but tomorrow we're going to be able to spend some time doing that. Right, let's see how much stupid money we made. <laughs> ah, pumpkins. There is a reason why you plant a lot of these in autumn. 7,600 just from that. And then eight fairy rose honey got me 5,440. Yeah, autumn's done well by us. So far, we made 15,600 gold today.
Okay, this is now a Friday, and what do we do on a Friday? We go and see the merchant. Good morning, everyone. We can drop that off for now. All right, but we're going to definitely be doing that alongside just sorting out our farm a bit. Welcome to Welwick's Oracle, the only show where the voices of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their very best to make your life difficult because you went to the mines on a day when they were in a good mood. You abused their trust. I'm sorry, spirits. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Spirits' Eve. The event will take place in Pelican Town, starting between 10 p.m. and 11.50 p.m. Do not be late. One of my favorite, favorite events of the year. All right, let's get all of these up there. Now, we could have... You know what? I think you need to come with me. There we go. I'll put you somewhere else. Don't worry. I want two windows. Now, doesn't that just open the kitchen up? Like, the whole room just got opened up with that. It's glorious. Now we'll have... Hmm. Well, I could have windows in here. Um, one there, for example. One there. I mean, that's actually quite nice. I, I really do quite like that, actually. Uh, but that does leave me in a bit of a quandary as to where I'm going to place... Uh, hmm... You know what? Maybe I could take this one as well. Will you come with me? Can I, can I get you? Yes, I can. Fantastic. And I can pop this up here. Like a little decoration ready for the Spirit Eve Festival. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Pop that one there. Oh, this is looking nice. This is looking very, very nice. That's actually a tiny rug, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, well, it's not really much. Oh, you know what? We can have a tiny rug in front of the fireplace. Uh, I'm not sure that would. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that works. Maybe, maybe it does work. Next up, a house plant. I would kind of like that to be next to the fire for now. We'll we'll make more sense of this place as we we get a bit more time and more furnishings. Because the real thing that's holding us back right now is just our lack of choice. That's the big thing. We've got no seating in our house. How terrible is that? Right, can I have a look at this, please? Dear Ivac, notice the chill in the air? It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark spectre here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival! The Spirit Eve! Come to town at 10pm if you'd like to participate. Mayor Lewis. You know what, I think you should have gotten Rasmodius to send that out, honestly. I think it would have been much more authentic coming from Rasmodius. Right, we can now, at a longer last to finish this up. There we go. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Now, obviously, we don't need it over there. I'm just going to do the, the, the last bit of watering on screen because there's, there's really no point in not doing it at this point. I'm not going to plant anything else, obviously, at this point. There's really no reason to. Now, I'm hoping that we'll get one last um, harvest out of my cranberries. Might not. Might. It really does depend a little bit. But, uh, as you can see, the watering significantly easier now. Significantly easier. But, having placed that last, it did illustrate one thing. And that is, if you place the uh, sprinkler after the morning, the sprinkler doesn't turn on. It turns on at a very set time in the morning, and that is the only time that the sprinkler activates. Uh, good morning, Colin. Come on in, Leafin. Let me fill your water bowl. There we go. And there we are. Now then. Let's grab these, I think. I don't think Robin... Actually, I don't think Robin's going to start because of the, the festival tomorrow. Which is... Oh, no. Here she is. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Robin. Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. I know, I know, I know. I was a little bit surprised. I was expecting you not to be here, honestly, Robin. Because of the festival tomorrow. Because I know you don't work on festival days. And I don't blame you at all for that. There we go. Right, we're going to be emptying out our silos so that we can start filling them back up with hay. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. All right, then. Let's drop these eggs off. Uh, no, they're going to go into the fridge. We'll use these ones instead. One, two. There we go. Now, I believe that we did actually want some 
eggplants in here. There we are. Knew that was going to happen. Um, oh, gold star ancient fruit. I imagine that sells for a pretty penny. We'll pop that one in there. And I will grab you. Pop that back in. But I'm fairly certain I've got some of these in there. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, drop those off as well. That's actually... St our fridge is starting to look nice now. I, th I think our fridge is starting to, to look okay. Uh, actually, was there anything that needed mayo? I forget, but I think there may actually be at least one thing that needs mayo. It might not be something I know yet, because I don't remember seeing it, but I'll be honest, because of the way I was looking for things, you specifically need snails? Very well. What was it that needed it? Oh, ask I'll go, of course. Of course it specifically needs snails, that's the whole point. Uh, right. I, oh, there we are. Coleslaw needs mayonnaise. Sure, okay, I'll, I'll pop in some mayo. And we'll keep a little bit in there, just for making coleslaw. Alright then. Um, this is looking remarkably good in there right now, remarkably good. I will go ahead and I will drop off the pumpkins. And that, and the grape jelly as well. All right, very, very nice. Now we've got some seeds that I can deposit somewhere. Where am I going to put these? Oh, I guess I can put them in there. We'll drop those off as well. Uh, we're going to get rid of the silvers. Um, yeah, the silver spice breeze as well. The silver red. Well, I guess we could keep the silver radishes there for now, actually. Uh, the ancient fruit, however, straight into the seed maker with you. Um, yep, that's good enough for now. Let's get rid of these. There we are. Okay. Now, what can we make with all of this wonderful gold that we're just stacking up here? We can go for the cheese press, which requires one copper, ten hardwood, forty-five stone, and forty-five wood. We can easily get that much together. So I think that would probably be a good idea. Let me grab the one co In fact, let me grab a lot of that. Thank you. Just one ancient seed. That's a shame, but uh, it's not It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Um, no, I don't think there's much else I need to do there. Okay. Well, I would very much like to get the... Uh, some tree taps and the cheese press. The cheese press specifically is going to be important, so I may go and see about visiting the merchant, see what the merchant has to offer. I'm going to pop this down right by you here, and then I'm going to start rapidly filling my inventory with hay. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Actually, it's not going to take a while, because when you think about it, I'm only storing, like, 400-odd hay. I'm already past... Yeah, it's ridiculous how, how fast I'm gathering this. Oh, my lord. I'll go up to 400, because I think I'm storing 480. There we go. And we'll pop this all in there. What? Really? Uh... Wait, what? Hmm. That did not work quite the way I was expecting, I must confess. Ah, there we go. I wasn't meant to be doing it that way. I was just put, taking it out and putting it back. What a derp I am. This is even faster. Ah, oh, never mind then. You got to see the way not to do something. It's always good when I can teach you the stupid way of doing things. I, I feel like I've accomplished something with my life. Ugh. Some days. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go and check on the cows. Then we will head into the forest to see the merchant. Actually, I forgot to water you. It doesn't matter. You're not going to to live through the season, so it really, really, really doesn't matter. In fact, I'm very, it's very unlikely we're going to get any uh, more grapes either, come to think of it. Hello, girls. Boreda. There we go. Now then. Um, I'm fairly certain it takes a little while before you can start milking them, but I'll, I'll just give it a check, shall I? Can I milk you? 
Are you ready to be milked, Buttercup? Buttercup is too young to produce milk. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if, if I got you as cows or as adult cows, but yes, yes, we got them as cows. There we go. All right, then. Let's go and check on the merchant, shall we? Ah, a nice, nice walk through the forest. Uh, let's actually call into Marnie as well. Hello. How's it going, Marnie? I wonder if Mr. Lewis gets lonely in that big house of his. Stop torturing yourself with these thoughts, Marnie. It, it pains my heart to see it happening. Uh, we don't need a heater. We've already got all of that. So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait for the chicken coop to be upgraded. And then we can get our ducks. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that. Super looking forward. Uh, sorry, Woodpecker. I know, I know, you were here first, but uh, my axe is sharper than yours. What can I say? Though, to be fair, the way that Woodpeckers actually do what they do is amazing. When you think of the, the, the force of, of their pecks, the fact that they don't knock themselves out from it is actually scientifically really quite impressive i think it's got something to do with the fact that their tongue actually wraps around their brain and i'm not making that up it's very very curious how woodpeckers do what they do look it up it's actually you know it's, it's pretty it's pretty funky to uh to look into a bok choy now you've really got nothing nothing that impressive here i'm a little bit a little bit saddened by this i must confess a little bit saddened never mind though i forgive you Get all that chopped. Now, um... We've got a couple of people we could uh, take some gifts to, actually. We definitely could. I think we should. In fact, I think we should. Wow, there's a, an odd line of leaves there. There we go. Swap to my weapon. Sorry about this. Wow, really? Amethyst? That is rather glorious. There we go. Nope. 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 Still nope. Aha! We've also got a red mushroom. I think we've already handed in the red mushroom for the die quest. So we're not gonna... Oh, sorry, the die bundle. So we're not really gonna need another one. I Actually, I think you use mushrooms for the life elixir. Uh, that includes red mushrooms. I think. I think you actually need a red mushroom for the life elixir. I've never made it. Never never used it in the mines. Possibly to my detriment, in fact. But uh, as a result, I, I'm not at all certain. I can't believe we're back up at 17k. That is mind-bogglingly good. We could possibly go straight to an upgraded barn. Or get a further upgraded house. I think that one's actually quite expensive, so what I'd probably go for instead is... Um, what this? We could possibly go for an upgrade to the... Oh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Not an upgrade, sorry. The stable. That would be a big thing for us, being able to move around rapidly. And do I have my scythe with me? Of course I do not, because that would be far too convenient. Oh, well. This gives me an opportunity to quickly water the grapes. The grapes take very little time to water. Very little time to water, which is actually quite nice. Once I've got uh, the upgraded watering can, it would take even less time. Though this particular setup wouldn't be best for that. If I wanted to use the upgraded watering can for working on trellis crops, then you'd want to space them out um, five a row. Because then one upgraded... Uh, water from the from the steel watering can would water all five in the in the in the row. There we go. It's going on actually. Six thirty. Well, I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. But yes, we could either go for the upgraded barn or the stable, and I think the stable would actually be the better option for us. If I'm completely honest, I suspect that would be the significantly better option there. There we are. And we've got 76 pieces of hay. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. Um, sure, we'll water these crops just in case. Because you never know. We might get one more harvest out of the, out of the corn prior to the seasons change. I doubt it, though. But, you know, 
It's it's probably worth it. It's kind of a waste not to not to even try. But there we are. All of the watering is now done, and we can relieve ourselves of a number of items. All right, let's get the mushrooms. Where am I storing the mushrooms? I am storing them over here. Okay. Uh, common mushroom as well. And start dropping these off. Uh, right. The Omni Geo can go elsewhere. Now, what do we want to build then? I would very much like a cheese press. That needs 45 stone. Don't have it just yet, but we can get that in the near future. I can, however, make one of these. The cheese press only requires one copper. Unfortunately, I don't have enough wood anymore, so I'm actually really limited just by the, the regular um, requirements. The wood and the stone is the thing that's really holding me back, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. Have we got all of those tap? Yes, we do, so I'll place that tap there then. There we are. Okay, let's drop off some of this. Oh, don't sleep out here, Leafin. There's no need. There we go. And the Omni Geode can go over here as well. Uh, no, no, the Omni Geode cannot. The Omni Geode needs to go in there instead. Very well. Uh, we can now go ahead and smelt some copper, though. Right, have the girls all turned in for the night? Yeah, they have. Try not to keep them up, Robin. I mean, I, I realise that there's no one asking you to hammer softly and kind of goes against the whole point of what you're doing with a hammer. But, you know, try not to, to, to disturb them too much. They need their rest. I can only imagine how much energy and, and effort is involved in laying an egg every single morning. There we go. And... There we are. Okay. I'm going to continue to just cut the grass here and there, Heather and Yon. And I will bring you back when we turn in for the night. Okay, I think that's about it for me now. We've pretty much gathered the grass from every large cluster of grass on the map so far. So we should be able to turn in at this point. We'll also grab that copper there. Drop that off. Um, I think we're, we're pretty much fine with everything else we're carrying. Actually, we'll drop off the uh, bat wings as well. But let's have a quick gander, see how much grass we managed to cut. We are back up to 167, so that's not too bad at all. And we've got a load in the actual chests as well, which is fantastic. We're probably not going to make too much tonight. We haven't really done that much work in, in terms of ga um, gathering... Uh, produce, but should be okay. And you know what? I think I'm gonna pop a melon in here. There we go. No starly fin. I'm really glad with the the windows though. That's really opened this house up a bit. Right, time to go to sleep. And we made two thousand two hundred from farming. That was two pumpkins, three grape jelly, two sunflowers. One gold star mayonnaise for 342, and one regular mayonnaise for 228. We also got, wow, quite a lot in forage. Three silver star plums and seven silver star spice breeze managed to get us 1,000 gold in total. So not actually that bad, 3,200. That'll put us over the 20k mark, I think. I will see you now. Yep, indeed it did. Uh, 20,477. Oh, look how lovely the house looks now in, in the early morning with all the lights streaming through the windows. It's very pretty, and it's only going to get better as we get more time to work on things. Now that is going to be the end of this episode, but do let me know in the comments if you think I should spend the money that we have on any particular um, upgrades. We're obviously upgrading the chicken coop at the moment. Should we go for an upgraded barn? Should we go for the stable? Should we go for, for another type of building? Let me know down below. But that is going to be it from me. So remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and until next time, do take care.